Chickens are very much like you and me. Intelligent and socially oriented, they lead emotionally rich lives. In natural habitats, they are inquisitive, curious, and playful, and develop strong social communities. They love to run, roost, and dust bathe. And of course, mother hens are extraordinarily protective of their chicks. Here is the life story of one of those hens. Hi, my name is, well, I don't have a name. I'm a chicken, a hen to be exact. I was born in a hatchery that sells young hens to America's egg companies. I was not even one day old when I was dropped onto a conveyor belt with hundreds of other chicks. One by one, we were grabbed up by huge hands so we could be sorted. The boys were dropped down one chute and the girls were dropped down another. I heard that the boys were sent down another conveyor that poured them into a chute that ground them up alive, all because they aren't valuable to the egg industry. Isn't that horrible? Then someone grabbed me and shoved my face into a device that seared off nearly half my beak. It cut through sensitive nerves and I was in so much pain that I could scarcely eat for days. Over the next few days, some of the chicks around me died from dehydration and weakened immune systems, but I managed to survive. I thought I was a lucky one. I was then thrown into something that they call a rearing cage, where they wait for us chicks to grow up. Instead of running outdoors or dust bathing, I grew up standing in the dark amid muck. After a few months, I was put in a crate and trucked to a factory farm. I lived in a wire cage in a long, windowless, filthy shed. More than a hundred thousand hens were around me. My feathers wore away and I suffered constant scrapes and bruises. We were all so tightly crammed together that we had no choice but to urinate and defecate onto one another. The ammonia from the airborne urine droplets would eat into my lungs. After a few months, one of the birds in the cage died and began to rot as we laid just one egg with each passing day. Her body was never removed from the cage. Yet somehow, I survived. And again, I thought I was a lucky one. But I couldn't have been more wrong. Once my egg production dropped, I was torn from the cage and thrown into a dark, eerie chamber on wheels. And that brings me to now. My body landed atop other hens who are shrieking and flapping. Gas is entering the chamber. Birds around me are falling limp. Life drained from their bodies. I know I'm next, but I don't want to die. This time, I'm not going to be the lucky one. In fact, in these moments before death, I realized that I never was. 